welcome to Wildwood Crossing. Uh, I have posted a video for making my curry pasties with my wartime pastry recipe uh, for living on war rations. I didn't put the full pastry recipe in because it would have made the video an hour long and uh, I didn't want the video to be that long because it takes too long to upload because uploading the video takes me about six hours. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would put the pastry recipe on here you can see how to make the pastry if you want to see how to make the pastry um, but otherwise if you're using shop bought pastry you can just follow along with the actual recipe over on my YouTube channel. So this video here is just specifically the pastry recipe and um, it will show you how to make the pastry uh, from my War Rations cookbook. I'm using the uh, We'll Eat Again cookbook and I've done my own filling. So if you just want the pastry this is the video for you but if you want to make the full pasties um, the recipe on my youtube channel is for the whole of the pasties and using this pastry that's in this video so, so i hope you're all having a good day enjoy the video and uh, i will see you at the end right so i've found my making pastry recipe we're using this one in the almond flan recipe um, and I'm using short crust pastry, so I'm using six ounces of flour. Um, I'm using self-raising flour, so I don't need baking powder. Could it need using up? I've got British self-raising flour. I think this one's from Lidl. This is vegan, uh, so I'm going to use that. So I need six ounces of that. I'm going to put an egg in. But what I do is I use less fat and an egg. And what I find is the fat in the egg increases the fat content in the pastry um, I know eggs were rationed during the war but if you had your own chickens you could forfeit your fat your egg ration to buy egg chicken fe egg chicken feed to feed your chickens or you could pass it on to somebody else I'm not going to use margarine I'm going to use butter because I can't eat margarine I'm not going to make myself sick doing this challenge and um, but we do get 200 grams of butter in our ration because I'm using my husband's ration as well because he hardly ever uses butter so we've got 200 grams of butter every week because um, we've got 100 grams each. So I can, eat, I can afford to use it in this. And I'm only going to use one ounce of butter and that's it. And my egg and then water. And I want six ounces. Right, so there's my six ounces of flour. And I'm going to, it says one and a half to two ounces of fat. Now I'm just going to use one. So it's probably about a tablespoon so that's my butter that's all i'm putting in and what i do is i make it into a crumb work the butter into the flour and then use a whisk and what that does is that puts air into your flour you don't want to handle the flour too much yourself because i think that makes for a tough pastry so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to put my egg Need to smell it. It's okay. The shell was broken. Now I'm not adding any salt simply because I'm putting an egg in. I think they can be quite salty eggs. I think maybe that's because they get lots of stuff out the house to eat. As I feed them kitchen scraps. Don't let anything go to waste. Now yes, it is getting stuck in the whisk. Just open your whisk, let that out. You want to keep your pastry nice and white and airy. Now, I just add the water just to get it to stick together. The best thing to do is to try clubbing it together with your hands, like that. So then that will give you an idea how much water you need. I don't need it, I'm just clumping it together with my hands. I need a little dribble, I think, it's a little bit dry. Bit wet now, a little tiny bit too much in. Now, flour was rationed, it wasn't rationed during the war as such. I think you had to buy it with points. I'm not 100% sure about that, 
but you weren't allowed to buy white flour you could only buy you could only get wholemeal flour you couldn't get white right so what you're going to do now scrunch that together put it back in your bowl pick up the bits right i'm going to leave that now i'm going to put a plate over the top i'm going to leave it for half an hour that's all you're doing just leaving it to one side with a plate on so we'll be back in half an hour right i have a little setup that i do um, and that involves a tea towel and some polythene wrap that cling film stuff don't like using it but i can reuse it after i've used it if that makes sense and i roll out enough to cover my tea towel like that i guess a little bit of flour i've got one of these shakers so you don't waste it on the board and that's going to be your pastry board now everything's had time to set and settle down I didn't put it in the fridge because my fridge makes butter go like a rock and I wanted to make sure I could get this video done so I'm just going to now it's all pliable mush it together and make sure I haven't wasted any right we're going to pop that down on our board we're going to get another piece and this is just going to make it easier for you to roll your pastry out but not to get stuck to your rolling pin and for you to get all frustrated like I do. And it just makes life a lot easier. And you can put more pressure on your pastry when you're rolling it to get it even thinner. This is just how I do it. It's not a wartime method. Obviously, they wouldn't have had this stuff, I don't think. You could probably use greaseproof paper. I have done in the past. Now, you want to flatten it with your hand as much as you can. Now the butter in the pastry will grease the cling film. As you can see, it comes off quite easy. Roll it one way, just to get started. And then you can actually turn the whole thing round, like that. And then I'm just going to concentrate on rolling it lengthways. I don't want it going out my cling film. As you can see, you can put a, little, put a lot of pressure on it. I'll turn it round, do it again. Turn it round, making sure it's not coming out the cling film because you don't want it to stick to your tea towel. Roll it again. Now I'm applying a lot of pressure to this pastry and as you can see, it's not coming out, it's not, it's not crumbling. It's not going funny. Right, now you can peel your paper back and have a look. Let's just see how thick the pastry is. Now for the lady who was saying that she can't get her pastry to roll thin, this method will be ideal for you. If you can get yourself, is it called saran wrap in America? American term. You get it really nice and paper thin. Which is an art form without this method. I've not succeeded. Right, so I reckon I'm going to get four out of this. Right, I don't want to go any thinner because I can see the underneath through that. Right, there you go. So there's your pastry. Now I'm going to cut it with a knife. Just turn over any bits that are a bit thin. Right. I'm going to get myself a knife. I'm not bothered about the shape. I'm going to fiddle about with that. One. Probably get six out of this, six small pasties. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my baking tin and lay them out on there. I hope you enjoyed making the uh, pastry along with me. The pastry is great because you can double the quantities if you want to make more pastry and make more pasties to keep them in the freezer. It doesn't use a lot of fat as you can see and if you've got your own eggs it's a great way of using eggs. I'm not sure about using egg replacer or powdered egg how the pastry would turn out but it turns out really nice and really crumbly for making short crust pastry pies. I've used it for a fruit pie um, and the recipe will be coming up on my YouTube channel. I've also used it for making these pasties and it's a very good versatile pastry to use. So enjoy making the pastry, enjoy making the pasties, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and do leave comments in the comments section below because I always love talking to you and learning all your tips and hints that you want to give me for my normal life and for my YouTube channel. If you'd like to buy me a coffee or the girls' treat, you can do so on my Ko-fi page. Um, I do have a little donations thing if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good week and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.